And we are back. We have somebody else commentating with me right now. Yep, I'm Geyser, and we still have JJ here. Mm -hmm. I'm swapping out for um, Treasure. Alrighty, so we have a very interesting match here coming up. It's uh, Kazuya versus Roy. I do not see that very often. Yeah, um, it's a kind of a rough matchup for Roy. But before we get to that, we do have an ad read that we need to get through first. And did you know, so did you know that St. Cloud State is heavily investing in esports? They have a content team that they've just hired this past semester, consisting of two videographers, a graphic designer, two esports managers, and a marketing manager posting content daily on their socials. Um, and they're starting a pipeline for Smash this fall, which includes scholarship opportunities for leadership on campus, casters, producers, and players on their academy and varsity teams. You can learn more about that at their website, www.stcloud.edu slash esports. And if you're interested, you should email Chase Neckum, Newcomb at chase.newcomb at stcloudstate.edu. Yeah, I do believe that this would be if Kazuya knows how to keep Roy away and not let him use a sword at all, that will be astronomically good for Kazuya. If Kazuya can do that, he has the game in the bag. Yeah, well, generally as Kazuya, you, it's your job to get in with those electrics, and it's really the opponent's job to figure out how to keep them away so they're not getting zero to death every time they're touched. So we'll see how Addict's able to do this. Starting so off with side B is good Good job of catching the aerial approach from Mistral. I think if Addict is just able to not go out, he'll, that'll be able to that'll make it a lot better for him. If Mistral, if Mistral can't get in though and use his moves, which they back up them very fast, and so it's hard to tell about it. If he can't do that, then this is an easy win for Roy. Yeah. But right now, Kazuya just does so much damage immediately that this could it's still anyone's game, even though it's 100 to 0. True, As Kazuya is. gets four, a 4 hit combo off, Roy's at kill percent very easily. It is very even, especially with that Rage Drive. It does give you more damage and knockback on all of your moves, in addition to granting that special command grab. But so far, Addict's done a really good job of just blowing shutting down everything Mistral's been trying to go for and is even getting these ledge traps which are honestly pretty risky because of the chance of getting reversal by Kazuya. Yeah, I think right now uh, Addict is doing a very good job at what, as I said earlier, not not going out and not letting him get in, which is a very astronomically astronomically uh, helping him in this match. I think if he if he didn't know how to do that, this match would be very easy to lead to Kazuya. And somehow Kazuya is not dead though, at yep. 200. He is quite a heavy character, and but killing is usually not one of Roy's weaknesses, unless, especially if you're getting those sweet spots. But Kazuya is heavy. Sometimes it just doesn't work, and you can't get in, and you get and sent by the gates of hell into laser, and you might just be dead from this. And Roy, yep, there it goes. That, Roy is already dead, and Kazuya's at kill percent. Any extra damage he can do to Roy right now is just extra, yep. but he can do not so it's back to even except for two stops. Good Nair, you would be kind of kicking yourself your addict right now because having that extra rage and that extra stock, if you had found that Nair a little bit earlier, would have been so nice to have, but right now instead you're at 0% against Kazuya who he wants a grab and there he gets it and into the electric, misses up the Furps tech though, so Addict's gonna escape with only 35%. I think just getting that one hit is gonna be, is gonna be very good for Kazuya, just because of all the combos he can do with that stun. And Roy is already about to die again, which I think Roy is, Kazuya is learning how to adapt to the way Addict is playing. Which I think if Addict yeah. cannot counter the way Kazuya is playing, he will end up losing both matches. But this is a very close match, oh, no. one we have not seen in a very long time. All right, I was a bit worried about that electric because sometimes you just get hit by the triple nair after that electric. But good bi from Addict, avoiding any real strong follow-ups. But like as you're talking, we did see this match go from an even two stocks to a pretty good lead for Mistral. And it, he is going to lose that um, rage drive. But if he had landed it, it might have been a stock. But that trip into the electric combo. 
completely throws it away on the platform, though. He really game. feels like he's unsure of what to do there. And we just got, I just heard a lot of uh, very high pitched laughs, so something funny just happened. <laughs> oh. But I think this game is almost over. Yeah. If Kazuya just gets one hit, he'll be able to finish it off with a kill move. But we did see on that first stock, Attic was able to just absolutely rack up damage on Mistral. So if we're able to see that mode of Attic again, it, there's a definitely a great chance that he brings this game back and wins it. It does look like Attic is addicted to those bears, though. But that will be the end of the first round. Electric on the platform is was the bane of Mistral's combo game, but it did end up landing him that up air to seal out that stock and close out game one, which is definitely what you want to see, especially in these best of threes. Each game is very valuable. Looking at Kazuya there, you could you could definitely see that at the beginning he was losing, and he ended up with that one hit at the beginning, ended up boosting him so far that he was able to win the first match. But if Roy can adapt and learn how to not, not let Kazuya do that, he will be able to win the next two matches. Yeah, it really felt like if Addict was able to close out that first stock a little bit sooner, but I get it. I've been in that same situation with Zero Suit where you just keep hitting them and it's just the wrong moves that are connecting. You hit those weak combo tools and they're just not killing. So we'll see how it goes. Game two, we are going on to Hollow Bastion. Hollow Bastion, very good stage, stage for Steve. Very fun stage. Sadly, none of them are Steve, and so none of them are going to be professionals at the game if none of them are Steve, which is my opinion. Honestly, I think this is one of Steve's worst stages. I think but the middle, the in between the center platform and the outside is an iron, so it does only give you iron, in, which is very good when you're trying to get that one iron that you need to make the mic up for the kill. That's fair, but I, I don't know, I feel like the platform layout isn't as great for Steve. But this game so far between Roy and Kazia has been pretty even. We haven't seen any, but oh, yeah, and that SD. he's gonna go a little too low on that edge guard. Tries but to style and get that tech, but Kazia, but is in just SDs instead of being able to do it. But that is back to even for the stocks. Yeah, and honestly, you might be taking that trade as Attic because last game, last game Mistral got up to 200%. That game, I'm sure you're SDing, but you are killing him at like one. And I think it was somewhere in that percent range. So I think Kill Kirby really maybe being able to SD might be very good so he's not able to lap you in percentage. Yeah. Great side B. We are gonna see the rage drive coming online. Attic should ha is gonna have to play a little more careful around this. Does not want to get hit by that huge command grab, which does like 50%. And so. might even kill a ledge. I think that 20 damage, that there was 20 damage there for one hit, which just shows how powerful Kazuya is at this stage. Yeah. There is that extra damage multiplier that Kazuya gets, but the up tilt surprisingly not killing and getting the weak hit on that up air, allowing Mistral to survive slightly longer. Once again, all these weak hits, just the bane of Attic's life, but the side B is gonna close it out. And Great Addict, coverage. Addict has been adapting, but if he hits another, if he hits an attack, that's a bonus extra percent in his future. This, right now, that's just a good time to be doing that, trying to get that extra percent, not necessarily trying to kill right now, because he will be dying soon. Yeah. But just try to get that extra percent and not try to be kill close. Yep, with Kazuya, it would be honestly kind of surprising if he landed another move that didn't kill at this point. Once so Attic's going to be playing as careful as possible to try and attack on extra damage, but the up air out of hits done with the amazing hurt box shift that it has and it just being frame 4 in general. Once again, Attic is move. addicted to, to those nares, which is right. They are very good moves, but he has been punished for that. Oh no. Alright, the platform is once again going to mess up Mistral, but like, yeah, as you were saying, Attic's been using the Nair a lot, and honestly, it's been, he's been using it really well, especially at the lower percents, where he's able to chain a few of them together, <coughs> has been doing a great job of getting those early percent combos. We are going to see a very dangerous situation right now with that Rage Drive online, and combos into the up smash instead. It is 2-0, oh. the game is over, Attic has lost.
Kazuya? As it did say, Kazuya Mishima did win. The electric into up smash. There was no platform to save Addict that time. So there's not a ton you can do about it. If the yeah, if the Kazuya is on spot, he got he's got it. So what do you think about that game that just happened there? Um, I think Addict honestly did a really good job. Despite losing, he it is a terrible matchup for Roy and he did keep it really even, and obviously Mistral's also a PR player. Yeah, I think, I think that what was very, was very good about it is, um, Addict was actually playing well. He was not playing bad, and there is the winner, the cousin. Yep, here we go. Addict was playing. Addict was. Yeah. Addict, <laughs> Addict was playing well. But Every single platform just, he, didn't. Uh, the other one was <laughs> playing just much better than Addict. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Sometimes the matchup's just really hard, and sometimes you just blow up because it's Kazuya, and that's kind of what happened. We will have Top Cut coming up soon, which I believe is Top 24. The top two players from each pool who made it out. So, that will be coming up pretty soon. But and we will be right, right back, back with that. <laughs> 